What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the next episode of Break It With Brandon. Today we're going to take a look at a design that one of my coworkers brought to my attention a while back. You guys might have seen something similar to this before floating around online. I know I've seen a couple of videos. If you ever had a roof rack or one of those cargo boxes up on top of your roof, nice little step here, fits right inside the door latch. You can step right up on that. So today we've got quite a few different material choices. We'll start with PLA, ABS, Onyx, and then we'll move on to Onyx and fiberglass. Now, before we test these out on my truck and I embarrass myself by falling from this height, we're gonna test them out on a little test fixture over here first, and then we'll pick the winner. We'll see if we can step up and reach the roof. So we're gonna start with my ABS model, and uh, after I printed this thing out, I don't have a lot of confidence that it's gonna hold my weight, so we'll test it out with somebody lighter. The ABS is a no-go. Broke right away. Let's try something else. Let's move on to Onyx. Nice snap on that one, but we're gonna have to move on to something stronger. So let's try the fiberglass reinforcement and see if that'll get us there. It's a little bendy, but I'll give it a try anyway. See how it goes. So the Onyx and fiberglass did all right, but it took a lot of fiberglass to make this thing strong enough and it still flexed quite a bit. So why don't we change things up a little bit? We've got a new design here that I think is gonna be a little bit stronger. Thanks to Garrett for the new design. Nice and slim, you can take it apart, fit it right in the driver door if you want to, put it together when you're ready. And I think this one will do the job. Significantly less expensive. Now let's see how it does. So this one crushed a little bit around the edge here. I don't know if we're gonna be safe with this one, so we'll try a different material. Let's see how ABS does. We got a pretty sweet break on this one, but once again, ABS is a no-go. Let's see how the Onyx does. Keep in mind, this one is not fiber reinforced. All right, it held up with Karen. Let's see if it'll hold under my weight. All right, guys, we got two designs that passed the test so far. The Onyx and fiberglass, and then the straight Onyx with the new design. So we'll try them out on the truck, then we'll come back here and see if we can break some stuff. All right, so the moment of truth. We're gonna see if these things fit inside the door here. I'm pretty confident this one's gonna work, but my original design is a little bulky. Let's see if we can fit this. That seems like it'll work all right. Pretty bendy though. Oh man. I hope I don't fall. All right. I wouldn't trust it more than once though. <laughs> This one's okay. I definitely like this one better. That fits pretty nice. Hits the seal a little bit, but good enough. Hey, there we go. This one seems to work just fine. So we're gonna add some more weight, see if we can actually break it. We're loaded up and ready to go. So we're back to design number one, onyx and fiberglass. This is the bendy one. I'm not feeling good about this. Oh! 
That's a good snap. Design number two, onyx, no fiber, and an extra 90 pounds. It holds. You can jump on it even. Garrett, I need some more weight. I'm looking to hold this. <laughs> no. Oh. Maybe you just have to get it up. Keep holding it. Here we go. Oh, nice. I'm just barely touching the tree. So that was an extra 50 pounds on top of that. No, 60 pounds. All right. <laughs> we got it. Not recommended for two people. All right, so design number two is the obvious winner here. Didn't require any fiber reinforcement and it took a whole lot more weight. So I'm pretty impressed with how it came out. Let's go over and break it down. Well, we got a lot to talk about. I definitely had some fun with this one. We started with uh, some options that we figured would break pretty easily anyways, uh, which always makes it more fun. But start with the ABS. Now, I just went with something really simple, designed it up in SOLIDWORKS in a couple of minutes. I think I used like maybe six features, which by the way, 3D texture really came in handy for this one. If you guys aren't aware of that one, um, pretty nice if you got any pattern designs like this. At any rate, the bracket for my original design definitely wasn't strong enough to hold up uh, with the ABS option. You can see we got pretty good breakage across there, which we kind of expected. You know, after I, I printed this thing out, realized just how weak it was, we were gonna have to come up with some other options. But I wanted to see if putting some fiber in it would do the job, which eventually we got to. But the ABS, like I said, definitely a no-go. So we moved on to the Onyx. So kept the same design. Bracket in this case was maybe a little bit stronger, um, but definitely not strong enough to do the job here. Uh, still got to break it, so had a little more fun with that one. And then we moved on to the Onyx with fiberglass. Now, I was pretty optimistic about this in the beginning after I realized just how weak the ABS part actually was. I figured if we ran enough fiberglass through this thing, it would probably be okay, which it was for a little while. Um, you can see we've got quite a bit of fiber actually in here. Um, I don't know how many layers we ended up putting in here, but ultimately it ended up being a part that was more expensive than what we wanted. And it was, I would say marginal results. So something to think about here, we've got a cantilever type situation where we're gonna put the bottom portion of that bracket, fiberglass is gonna be in compression. We've got a little bit of it in tension up top here. Ideally, we wanna put that fiber in tension to get the best amount of strength out of it. So the design really didn't even lend itself well to fiber reinforcement here, but we still did have some fun with it. And I was actually impressed that um, it did much better than the ABS. It was a little bendy, like I said a couple of times, but did okay. So after we realized that uh, the first design was probably not gonna be strong enough, we ended up with design option number two, which Garrett came up with. And the thing I really like about this one is for a person that's gonna use this as it was intended, comes apart really nicely. You can slip it in the door or the glove box or whatever you're gonna do. Fits together pretty nice. Uh, again, taking advantage of the 3D texture there. The PLA option, um, I would say the damage is not all that bad on this one. I think it kind of twisted on the bracket a little bit, so we got kind of a little bit of edge crush on this one, but um, probably not gonna be very strong for very long, but a good concept at least. Then we moved on to design number two, ABS. Now the failure on this one was quite a bit more catastrophic. You can see we got a 
nice big separation there of the upper portion of that bracket. So this thing failed, uh, made a nice little pop too when it came apart, but um, it actually helps you kind of visualize where the stresses are at too, kind of fun to look at. But not gonna do the job for what we intended here. So last option, if we can find it, we've got too many parts to dig through on this one. The Onyx, design number two. This one was super impressive. No fiber reinforcement whatsoever. Uh, we just went with the straight Onyx material. And this one took my weight plus an extra, we had what, 90 pounds on there plus another 60 pounds. Garrett jumped up there with me too. So, you know, this thing can take quite a bit of load. I think for what it's intended for, the little vehicle door steps that you guys have probably seen online, we kind of came up with our own design for it, which was fun. And ultimately, I think it's gonna work pretty well. So just, again, shows you how impressive the Onyx material actually is. Um, a lot more stout. You can tell just by the weight of this thing that it's actually a, a little bit more sturdy part, so. Definitely some impressive results out of that material. We got to have a lot of fun with this one. Went through quite a few parts and hopefully you guys had some fun with it along the way. If you guys need design tips or advice on which 3D printing technology is gonna work best for your parts, make sure you reach out to us. We can definitely steer you in the right direction. Make sure to join us for the season finale of Break It With Brandon. We've got an exciting surprise for you. We'll see you next time.